If you think today's beauty products are bad, at least we have the FDA to tell us if things we put on our face and in our bodies are dangerous. When you hear about what the awful cosmetics people were using back in the Victorian days to boost their confidence a little, you'll feel a little better about the Maybelline. Today we are going to be counting down the top 10 banned cosmetics that we were warned about. Coming in at number 10 is arsenic makeup. Back in March of this year, Washington joined more than a dozen other states in seeking to crack down on toxic substances in cosmetics. This came about after a state-funded study found that there was arsenic in makeup products by, made by CoverGirl. It's incredibly alarming that some companies continue to use arsenic in their products, presumably to lower costs, since we've known about the dangers of the substance since the Victorian era. Most notably when people in Bavaria allegedly took to soaking in arsenic baths to keep their skin pristinely white. While arsenic is not as deadly when used to bathe in as it is when ingested, which can be fatal with less than one eighth of a teaspoon, bathing in water containing the toxic element can cause severe irritation, skin redness, pigmentation changes, and skin lesions. But perhaps even worse, the fumes from the element pose an even bigger threat. According to the EPA, chronic inhalation of arsenic fumes poses a wide range of health risks from pharyngitis to lung cancer. While no one's bathing in it anymore, I hope, arsenic is still seen plenty in the marketplace and CoverGirl is only one example. At number 9 is teeth whitening. Wanting pearly white teeth is not a new concept by any means. In fact, the practice of teeth whitening began around 4,000 years ago with the ancient Egyptians, who created a whitening paste using ground pumice stone mixed with wine vinegar. Since white teeth were always a mark of beauty and a sign of wealth, people throughout history have done a lot to get them, even with the side effects. For example, ancient Romans whitened their teeth using urine since the ammonia acted as a bleaching agent, and in the 17th century, people relied on their barbers for the care of their hair and teeth. And I almost never like a haircut, so that tells me what the quality of dental treatment people were getting. Barbers would file down the teeth and apply hydrogen peroxide to whiten them, and while the practice did make teeth whiter, it eroded tooth enamel and led to decay. Teeth whitening is still not foolproof today, however better than whatever barbers were doing, I hope. These days, teeth whitening kits are pulled from shelves pretty frequently due to intensely high levels of hydrogen peroxide, which cause gum burns and tooth loss. In 2021, an investigation was launched on oral orthodontic material store, a company on AliExpress was found to have products containing illegal levels of the substance at 30.7% the usual amount used for teeth whitening being only 5%. These were quickly pulled from shelves, but anyone buying teeth whitening products from AliExpress should be well aware of what they're getting themselves into. At number eight is waist training with corsets. Corsets are one of the most notorious beauty accessories for causing obvious pain. They have been around for centuries to create the desired dramatic hourglass figure that for some reason became the ideal, despite it not being a natural asset for any human on earth. An anthropologist, Rebecca Gibson, conducted a study of 10 female skeletal remains from the Victorian and Georgian eras, and she found the rib cages and spines of the corset-wearing women were deformed, thus pushing the diaphragm and major organs up and out of their original positions. Women weren't the only ones wearing corsets during the 19th century. Men, like England's King George IV, often strapped himself into the garment and as well did not go without suffering the consequences that came with it. In 1821, the severe constriction of his body from the corset caused George to nearly faint, which isn't a symptom that's gone away in the modern age. It's surprising that the corset trend has hasn't gone away entirely considering the risks and possible danger, and instead has had quite the renaissance with current Gen Z fashion and television period pieces. But with the information we have that's widely available about how corsets may cause a wide range of complications like pneumonia, constipation, raised blood pressure, acid reflux, and fainting, rumors have begun to circulate that Netflix and BBC are phasing out the use of corsets from movies and TV shows. Although they've been a longtime fixture in TV show wardrobe and shows such as Bridgerton, Downton Abbey, and Jane Eyre, The Sun News newspaper reports that TV producers are becoming increasingly concerned about the health effects on actresses wearing them for up to 14 hours a day on set, which oftentimes cause bruising, breathing troubles, and pain. It's said that Bridgerton producers have told the cast of the Netflix show that they don't have to use them, and many other production companies are set to follow suit, especially after the SAG after strike put restrictive costuming compensation as one of their clauses. At number seven is decorative contact lenses. While they absolutely didn't have contact lenses in the Victorian era, they used what they had at their disposal to make their eyes appear brighter. Many Victorian ladies took to squirting lemon juice in their eyes, which makes me shiver just thinking about it. If you got lemon juice in your eyes these days, you probably wouldn't consider that a cosmetic revelation, but instead an absolute disaster. I'm not sure if it would even make your eyes look any better, because it usually just causes redness and irritation to put citrus anywhere near your eyes. Queen Victoria herself also turned to putting undesirable stuff in her eyes.
eyes, but even worse than lemon juice, she opted for belladonna, you know, the well-known poison. It was said to have dilated her pupils so she could see, and it wasn't like cataract surgery existed yet, so use what you got. This made dilated pupils a desired look though, so belladonna became extremely popular for getting that job done. Although belladonna is usually fatal if ingested, it is fortunately rarely deadly when used as an eye drop. However, long-term use of the poison can result in a lethal overdose. Immediate side effects include irritation, blurred vision, and light sensitivity, and sometimes dizziness, fainting, and irregular heartbeats. Making your eyes appear different is still huge in the market today, but with our new technology and eye contacts, you can put almost anything in that ocular cavity, even if you shouldn't. In 2002, the US Food and Drug Administration issued a health warning about the dangers of non-prescription decorative eye contact lenses because of the dozens of reports that said such contacts cause corneal ulcers, blindness, conjunctivitis, and ocular infections. Even if it is super cool to have a different eye color, it may not be worth the trouble. At number six is face powders with dangerous chemicals. Similar to our 10th point on this list, there have been a multitude of banned products over the past years containing toxic chemicals. Except this isn't to lighten skin, but instead cover blemishes. In the Victorian era, many women turned to face powders containing quite mild ingredients like rice powder, zinc oxide, and the extremely expensive blend of chloride of bismuth and talc, but others made use of lead, which nowadays we understand to not only be extremely toxic, but absorbed through the skin at alarming rates. Side effects of lead poisoning include headache, constipation, memory loss, pain, and numbness, and if ingested in large quantities, will cause paralysis and death. Finding toxic chemicals and makeup products is hardly a thing of the past, as mentioned multiple times with this list. In 2019, Makeup at Claire's, a children's fashion accessory retail chain found in most malls, issued a voluntary recall twice in a three-month period over concerns of asbestos contamination in its makeup products. A batch of the Jojo Siwa makeup set tested positive for asbestos during the FDA's ongoing investigation of asbestos contamination in cosmetics. Exposure to asbestos dust can cause serious health conditions decades later including lung cancer and mesothelioma. Coming in at our halfway point is acne supplements. Arsenic wasn't used just to lighten skin, but also as a way to clear skin back in the day. Man, what a fix-all product. Not, it has literally always been a poison. Women consumed arsenic through the form of wafers and believed eating these deadly supplements not only cleared their complexions, but also changed the shape of their faces by softening sharp features and disfigurements. In 1902, the Sears catalog coined Dr. Rose's French arsenic complexion wafers, saying it possessed, quote, the wizard its touch in producing, preserving, and enhancing beauty of the face while it developed a transparency and clearness of complexion, shapely contour of form, brilliant eyes, soft and smooth skin. What an understandable and well-written tagline. The advertisement adamantly claimed that the amount of arsenic in these wafers was crafted by expert chemists and thus was completely safe to eat, which is obviously untrue, but hey, we also thought cigarettes were healthy. The doughy complexion wasn't a result of their improved skin, but the red blood cells that the arsenic was destroying just below the skin's surface. According to Andrew Meharg, an arsenic expert and professor of biogeochemistry at the University of Aberdeen, found that regular exposure to even minute amounts of inorganic arsenic increases a person's risk of heart disease and cancer. On top of the long list of horrific side effects, which includes renal failure, epilepsy, and numbness, and at higher doses, arsenic even caused the skin deformities that these wafers claimed to remedy. At number four is mercury eyeshadow. Now, putting some shiny powder on your eyelids is hardly a behavior of the 20th century. In fact, traces of eyeshadow were first detected on Egyptian makeup brushes, oftentimes made from lead, ash, and oxidized copper. Our inclination to use dangerous substances on our faces only got worse as time went on, as in the Victorian era, a substance called cinnabar was used to create a vermilion red color that was oh so desirable. Although adding some rouge to your face may make you appear livelier, cinnabar contains mercuric sulfide, which is known to cause kidney damage. Mercury has been found in cosmetics today Day, even after being banned from use in cosmetics in 1972 by the FDA. A new report from the Zero Mercury Working Group finds that almost half of skin lightening creams tested contain dangerously high levels of mercury, but continue to be sold by online retailers like Amazon, even after multiple studies have linked mercury to a multitude of serious health problems, such as damage to your central nervous system, lung damage, and can often be fatal. Our number three spot goes to radioactive toothpaste. During the 1920s, Doormad radioactive toothpaste hit the shelves. They literally said it's radioactive on the tube. Can't do much more warning than that. The toothpaste was slightly radioactive because it contained small amounts of ionizing radiation, which claimed to have health benefits like antibacterial properties and strengthening the defenses of teeth and gums by quote, charging cells with a new vigorous life energy. 
These claims were bogus and in fact caused damaging effects to anyone who used the paste for a prolonged period of time. In the 20s, the harmful effects of radiation were not fully understood and instead were often promoted as a cure for all types of illnesses, which led to many radiation-based medicines and therapies such as radon-infused drinking water, which caused a man's jaw to fall off. Radioactivity is now well understood and many of these ill-advised products have disappeared, but not entirely. According to a report by the BBC published in 2021, Dutch authorities have found a number of, quote, anti-5G protection necklaces that give off harmful ionizing radiation. These necklaces are ironically popular amongst anti-5G activists who wear them to fight the harmful radiation of 5G mobile services. A runner-up is whitening lotions. As said many times on this list, Victorian beauty ideals were unsurprisingly obsessed with incredibly pale skin. Upper-class white women desired a ghostly appearance to signify that their privilege never left them working in the sun. In order to do so, many Victorian women turned to corrosive face lotions, which many times contained lead acetate, known for side effects like paralysis, muscle atrophy, headaches, and nausea, though were advertised as harmless until 1869, when the American Medical Association published a warning. Mercury and lead is still found in skin lightening products today, even though they're both known as a carcinogen that can cause severe skin issues with prolonged use. Health Canada says the sale of such products is illegal, but are still available for purchase with sale clerks just issuing a warning of discretion. Not only are whitening creams awful for you physically, but also feed into the racism so blatant in today's society. These lotions are seriously doing nothing but cause harm. Our number one spot goes to hair removal. Back in the day, women sought smooth skin through the use of potassium nitrate. Nowadays, the chemical is used in rocket fuel, fireworks, and fertilizer, but a 1776 hair removal recipe called for potassium nitrate as one of the main ingredients. While it might remove hair, it'll probably also remove a layer of skin and cause lung damage with the poisonous gases it emits. Today, hair removal cream still has the potential to do more harm than good, with the most popular on the market in air, oftentimes causing chemical burns, blisters, and rashes. And that is our top 10 banned cosmetics we were warned about. Let us know if you forgot any in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.